what they do. Let's be really clear about what this is. Let's call it by its name. It's racism. She's a black woman. And she has been it's torn not racism. to pieces. You can't she just... has been torn to pieces. It's not racism. It absolutely no, it's is. Not. We're the most tolerant, lovely country uh, uh, in Europe. Let's it says celebrate our women. Not man. racism. It's so easy to throw the charge of racism at everybody, and it's really starting what to get boring. What worries me about your comment is, you are a white privileged male who has oh, no experience oh. in life. I, mean, can I, just, I can't I... help what I am. I was born like this. It's an immutable so you, characteristic. So, so to call cannot, me a white privileged male is to be racist. You're being racist. You So this was the most recent episode of Question Time where they were discussing the issue of racism when it comes to the media's coverage of Meghan Markle. And as you guys saw, there was an audience member challenging one of the guests on the panel by the name of Lawrence Fox. Now, I've honestly never heard of him before, but uh, just a quick Google search, let me know he's some kind of actor, a musician. Yeah, something like that. Um... And I will break this down a lot more, but just straight off the bat, my initial response was, you know, this just completely encapsulates the sheer and utter denial of racism, which is still very much prevalent in the UK. And uh, just even the resistance to even have an honest conversation about race is just very clear in this, what, like one minute clip. And what really made me laugh was his comment about this being the most tolerant country or something like that. Um, We're the most tolerant, lovely country uh, uh, in Europe. Let's celebrate our Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, we're talking about the same England that has committed all sorts of atrocities against its own people, not to speak of the rest of the world, which is still recovering from all that mess that went down in the last, I don't know, a couple of centuries? And you have to laugh because it's the way British culture is set up to believe, you know, basically the propaganda that we're somehow superior to everyone else and that we're this sort of benevolent force in the world that, you know, everyone looks to us to help them and all that kind of stuff when really we have our own issues that we don't even deal with properly or we even refuse to acknowledge, which is... It's really sad and it's just, it's a massive problem that I don't think many people like to admit. Back to old boy here. So what I've always found kind of interesting, if that's a word for it, is how offended people get when you call out racism or you call out their racism that they are perpetuating. It's like they're offended by the word racism than the actual action of racism. I will say, though, I do think it's a number of things that add to the negative press that Meghan Markle is receiving right now. And since she came into Prince Harry's life, such as the fact that she's American, she's a divorcee, she was an actress. But ultimately, it comes down to her being biracial. Like, that is very clear to me. And, you know, he can call it boring and whatever, put his face in his hands and all that kind of goofy stuff. But I find it boring the fact that he's calling this lady racist just because she's pointing that out that he's a white privileged male when he's literally downplaying racism due to what? The privilege he experiences as a white male. Unsurprisingly, it goes right over his head. He gets offended because, let's be real, a lot of the time, white people don't like to be reminded of their privilege because guess what? We don't talk about race. We don't have these conversations. Like, love, please go read a book or something. You don't understand the history of this country clearly. Just pick up a book about the British Empire and come back. Thanks. And if you thought that was it, you're wrong. He carries on as if you thought it couldn't get any worse. The level of ignorance in the sky is it's, it's quite shocking. <laughs> Please watch this. We need to be careful that we need to call out racism when it's seen, when it's obvious and when it's there. And we should stand together to condemn it. And we should be careful and use racism when, when it's there and it's obvious and not a, a call someone racist just because they don't agree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, this just shows you the level of ignorance and lack of understanding this man has. This is literally the problem with racism in this country. No one 
is going around calling people the N-word. Maybe in some cases, but generally that's not what happens. Racism in this country is insidious. It's underlying in speech, in conversations, in education, and absolutely the media. So what he's saying is complete and utter rubbish. Now, another person that reminds me of the situation is Piers Morgan. Now, I actually like him. I agree with quite a lot of things he says. But however, there are a lot of things he says that I disagree with. And his stance on racism and sexism, which he is guilty of perpetuating in some cases. You know, I have to give him the side eye. I think I will probably do a video about a recent interview he did on uh, Good Morning Britain where he was very much guilty of this. So look out for that for sure. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe. If you disagree with me, please let me know. I want to hear either way how you feel. Uh, this topic is quite taxing on the mind, but it's good that we talk about these things. So really interested to hear your opinions. I'll catch you in the next one.